Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will we will create a PHP REST API. And just to start, I just want to let you know that I'm using XAMPP and I've started the Apache and MySQL already. And this is my PHP my admin already opened it. And here we will create a database and we will insert some users in the database and then after that we'll, we will output the users um, in a JSON format, which is going to be the uh, API. And then after that, we will be able to use that API anywhere else we will want, as long as we upload, uh, you know, upload this PHP script on the on a live server. So let's go ahead and get started. As you already see here, I don't have anything in my htdocs folder. I have my uh, editor here, and I have the htdocs open. So I'm just gonna create. I'm just go ahead and create a new file. I'll name it index.php, and there's gonna be another PHP file which is the config.php. Now this file is gonna handle the connection to the database. So let's go ahead and start and create a database. Let's call it API. And as a codification, we will choose the UTF-8 general CI, just right there. Create. We want to create a new table, and this table is going to have three columns. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have ID, name, and age. So this is the ID here, 10 length, and this is going to be the primary key, so we have to check it here. And then we will have the name, and this is going to be a varchar and h. The h we can leave it in integer there. Just leave two for the link. Click save. And this is our table. It's empty for now. Let's go ahead and insert something. We got we got the first user, which is Dave, and Dave is 25. We have another guy here, uh, this needs to be capital letter, and then we have Jace, and Jace is 24, uh, I think 2 is enough, click go, let's browse it and we see we have two users here. Now let's go back to our PHP files, and here in the config.php I'm just going to paste the, the code. Because I've, I've been using this code in the past tutorial, so uh, I already explained what it does and how it works, but just to, like a quick description. So we have a class which is connect, and this class extends the PDO class. And then here we have a construct, and this construct uh, has all the data we need to connect to the database. Uh, as you see here, parent, construct, and then this is the, the database, uh, what kind of, what what kind of database we have, which is MySQL. And then we have the host, which is the local host database name, which is API in our case. This is the user. In my case, it's root. If you have another user, just change the name. And, and then I don't have any password, so I just left it empty. And here are just few parameters, which uh, sets the name to UTF-8. This is the codification. And then here it's uh, showing the errors in, in case there is no there is there is no such database or or there is something wrong with the password or the or the user. So I'm just gonna save it. If you want, you can pause the video and, and copy all this code. I'm just gonna zoom it in a little bit so we can see it better. <clears throat> and then the index PHP. This is the main PHP file. I'm gonna I'm gonna write everything from scratch here you can follow me if you want to so we have here a php tag okay the first thing we want to do is we want to require the config.php file we'll require ons and then we have dir Okay. 
All right, now we will have another object here. So, so we have class, let's name it API. And then here we will have a function. And I named it select because this function is going to just select the data from the database. But you remember, like um, using an API, with API you can delete data, you can um, insert, select. So in our case, we will just select the data. And, and here we will have um, a variable which is db and we assign the new object. A new object is db which is the connection to the database. So new connect. And then below here we will have another variable which is users. And this is going to be an array. So for now I assign an empty array. And then here we have another variable which is data. And using the connection to the database, we want to prepare a query to the database. And we want to select here, let's see, select everything from users. And let's order it by ID. Okay, now let's execute this query. So we have data and then execute. And here we the next on the next on the next line we will have a loop. I'm I'm just gonna use while and here we have output output data. Let's see. Oh. Then we use data, patch, PDO, patch and sock. Okay. And then here we will have another. So here, not it's not a new variable, but this is the user's variable. We want to assign all this data from the database to our user's variable. And then after that, return this variable in the JSON format. So we can output it um, on the page, you know, in the browser as a JSON format. So here we have users variable, and you know that we need to have some kind of keys in our array. So as a key, we will use we will use the user ID as a as an array key. So we have here users and using the output variable here which this output um, contains all the data about each user so we have output data id and then here we will have another array which will have all the data about the user about this user's id so okay let's see all right and then here we will have ID. This is, this is the user's user ID. And here we're using output data ID. Same, the same thing for the name. And then there was the H. Let's clean it up a little bit. So I have like that. All right. And now here, below this while, we will have to we will have to return this variable. So let's do return. Oh my god. Return. And here. So I want to return users, but we want to return it in a JSON format. So there's a PHP um, native function, which is JSON uh, encode. And here is a parameter. We will have the users variable. Okay. 
And now below our object, we want to output all this data. So we will have another variable. I'm just going to name it API. And we assign the, the API object. So we have a new object, which is API. Is this object from here. And then I want to, we want to use a header here. Uh, the header is very important because it tells, um, it communicates to the browser what kind of data um, the browser is about to output. So here we have header and the content type. Content type is uh, application. Application slash JSON. And then here below we will use the we have the echo and we want to output this function from this uh, object. So we have API and then the function. All right, let's save this file. Uh, let's let's make sure everything looks good. We don't have any misspellings here, so we get class functions all right let's go let's go ahead and open the browser go back so i refresh this so we can see that there's uh we've got the data from the database you know it outputs it in a json format now there is a um, there's a chrome extension uh, let's go ahead and search on google json viewer chrome Okay, let's take the first one. Click Add to Chrome. Add extension. All right. Now, if we go back and refresh this page, we can see that um, our data looks, you know, this code looks cleaner, much cleaner than it it looked before. And uh, it, it even tells you here what's the you know the URL that this comes from, the data comes from. You can actually change change this code around. This is just a basic example. You can have another PHP file wherever you you put um, your class, and then in another file you can just output the data just using these three lines. But this header is very is very important. You should have this header wherever you echo your your data. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope it was useful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.